YouTube! What the crap's going on? It looks like your Valentine's date has arrived. Well, either yours or Vlad. You might have to duke it out with him. That's right, so Vlad's wife making an appearance in the Total War Warhammer campaign. Pretty exciting. So, apparently she is the prize if the Total War faction wins this make love uh, or make war not love thing. I'll have a link in the description and I'll show it to you later on. So basically, you need to go help win so that Isabella comes to the game. Um, I'm assuming, yeah, I, I don't know what all this is. Like, does that mean that she comes free? Does it mean she becomes available? I haven't really figured all that out yet. If you know, you can say it in the comments. I guess I need to go read more of the news, but I wanted to cover with you what we could expect. So basically, they tell us that Isabella and Vlad are constantly making out behind a dumpster in the back of the graveyard, and that this brings them lots of special powers. No, seriously though, they do make out behind the dumpster in the graveyard, in case you were wondering. Um, it makes Vlad really, or uh, it makes Manfred really upset. <laughs> He's jealous that his dad's getting all the action. <laughs> in any case, there's going to be some really nice, uh, real jealousy going on between Vlad and Manfred, because what this change would bring is actually split the vampire faction, which I've heard people saying is actually consistent with the lore, which is kind of cool. So you have this new von Karstein faction that that um, Isabella and Vlad would belong to, so that there's like a, a struggle between them and Manfred, which is pretty cool, to be honest. And so you, there's like these special powers. Uh, Isabella is obviously, a, um, you know, similar to some vampire lords. They, they did mention that she's not as strong as Vlad in Melee, but that she has, you know, kind of her own tricks. And when you have her and Vlad together in battle in the campaign, they draw synergies off each other, uh, meaning that they give each other boost. And some of her special abilities are to make um, vampire heroes stronger in her army. And she starts off, as you can see, with a vampire lore of death and a vampire lore of shadows. Um, they talked a little bit about her tech trees, which is what you're seeing here. Um, she's going to be focused all about like making your monstrous units like uh, Vargeist and Bats and Terrorgeist and Vargul. She's going to be focused at making them better. Um, and essentially, uh, you're going to see her army really revolve around lots of monsters, which is pretty exciting. You can see up there in terms of mounts, she can get uh, up to the Hellsteed there. Um, so pretty pretty exciting stuff. So Isabella is going to be a cool addition. Definitely welcome all this kind of stuff from Creative Assembly. I think that these small things, like when I say small, it's kind of a big deal to get another Legendary Lord. Because to me, every time they put one of these Legendary Lords in, uh, it really changes the way that you can play your campaign and the way the campaign will play out. And uh, this is exciting because they've created like another vampire sub-faction and these sub-factions are cool. They have different start positions. They create a different feel for the campaigns. I keep playing campaign in this game over and over and over again because it's just gotten like better and better and better with all these things that roll out. Now, with the exception of the Wood Elves being like absurd OP right now in campaign, um, they showed her a little bit in the quest battles. There was two quest battles, at least, I think that they mentioned there. And that's pretty exciting. So they show some of the uh, banter here. If you want to go see this video, I'll have a link to it. And they um, later they they showed her being used, and we'll skip over to that in a um, combined battle with her boyfriend here. So you're gonna see um, Isabella and her ladies sieging uh, Castle Drakenhof away from Manfred. So Daddy shows up with uh, stepmommy here, I guess. I don't know, real mommy, stepmommy, whatever it is. I guess when you're a vampire, you fight your own children. I mean. Vlad's a pretty unhappy looking guy, so I could definitely see that happening. Um, so in any case, what do y'all think? What do you think of Vlad's Valentine announcement? Should we call him Vladdy Von Valentine? <laughs> Ooh, the lame joke's going to be rolling. What lame jokes can you throw in about this couple? I'm excited. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, definitely looking forward. And the vampires are, I don't know if they're that way for everybody, but I don't know if I would say they're my favorite faction in campaign, but they hold like a special place uh, in my heart for campaign. Um, because I, I like just how they can face roll people with the constant raising of the dead and the huge hordes and all that other stuff. They had like a really cool f uh, feel to campaign. So, yeah, I'm super excited for the potential release of Isabella. You need to go to the, a couple of links. One, go watch Total War's video about Isabella if you haven't already. Two, follow the link to the Make War Not Love link that I'm going to put in there because you need to get involved in that if you want to help us bring this prize home. And three... I originally said two, but you need to do a third thing, and that is make your own lame joke about Vlad and how he's a uh, apparently potentially a girly man here for having to need his wife to come fight his battles for him. <laughs> 
Okay, I couldn't help myself. No, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's pretty cool. I think it's neat that um, they're bringing in this lore. Some people are pretty excited because this is going to be a female legendary lord, which we'll probably see from Bretonia as well. Um, but, you know, it's just, it's neat stuff. I think there's a lot of cool things about it, and I'm just excited in general. You, you couple this up with the fact that we're going to have custom maps being able to go into campaign. Think of the sieges and all the, oh my gosh. Campaign and Warhammer is about to go to a whole new level. So, leave those jokes about Vlad and Isabella. Go to those links. Tell me what you think. Air of Carthage signing out for now. Hope you're excited. I am.